Got the truck. Here comes the truck. Swing it in. Swing it in. You got it. Yeah, you see all you can see all the other trucks come in. They come in driving first. So you didn't know. I guess you you don't know that. So what we? Yeah, that's all right. Is all this all this good and hard? Yeah. No, this is clay. This is just some dirt I pulled back in. This is hard. Trucks come back here all the time. Okay. Cement trucks. I'm having a patio poured. They came in here two weeks ago. So you'll see. This this is all just salt that I scraped my tractor. But you're gonna. You're gonna go see in front of my tractor over there? You're gonna just back right there and drop the dirt right there. You want me to just back all the way around? If if you like I said, no, normally the other they drive in. They drive in and just turn around in my backyard and go back out. Okay. But whatever you wanna do. You you wanna back, you yeah, back. I'm already, I'm already I can turn around, I guess, in the front door, but I didn't I guess I should have Yeah, I told you to so turn I in. Know what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, turn in to the right. That's all right. Yeah, I'll take care of all that. Yeah, see? See all the cement trucks, they come in right here. So you, 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 this is all hard clay, so you good. Yeah. Yeah, see, I got, see how high it is? So I got to fill it in with dirt. So I was going to have you drop the dirt right here for me. Just back right here, drop it, and I can use my tractor and put as much dirt as the guys need in there. Back in, I can just dump it and then drive right back in. Whatever out. you want to do, brother. Okay. I'm with you. Thanks, man. I know you got that full of fish, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Work in progress, man. Work in progress. It will be a next time. So next time, you know to come in, I guess, if you want to head first. I wasn't sure if this driveway, because the house looked like it went further over. I and I looked at another mailbox, I'm like, no, that's a mailbox. Well, see, actually, I don't even come in. That's my actual address up there. But if you look that way, that's the way I come in. That's, what I was, that's why I went over until I seen you, I was planning on going to the next driveway. And then, see, if you look down that driveway, that's how I come in. Yeah, you break all that up, brother. Please don't tear it up. I'm sure there's a missus or a girlfriend that was raised. Yes, sir, brother. So probably, yeah. Hey, I have one of those. Yes, sir. Oh, we got a truck coming in. It's loaded to the top too, so that's good. Good clay. So we good. Come on in, brother. I gotta trim those trees up there down. truck is heavy right there boy that truck is heavy y'all that truck is heavy Ooh -wee, that big boy heavy he is loaded yeah he is loaded want red dirt for packing what you want for your for your you want that red clay in your packing
right, y'all. We got some red dirt coming in. We got red dirt coming in. It's Taylor's Pride Homestead, baby. Making dreams realities. Here we go. Look at that. A little empty in the front there now. Y'all see that? Oh, that's good red dirt. Good red dirt. That's what you want. That's the kind of dirt you want. Clay, that's what you want when you're going to be putting stuff. That's what you want, so that's what we got in here. All right, y'all, I got to handle business. It's called Haul It All. Haul It All. He's the owner. 803-983-2371. He's the owner of the company. All right, y'all, I got to handle the business. Stay tuned. Taylor Spry, Homestead. All right, y'all, we got dirt. We got red compaction clay dirt. This is the best stuff. It compacts well. That's what you want. That's what you want. Good compaction clay. Look at that. That's what you want. We got it, guys, here on Taylor's Pride Homestead. Y'all see it, right? That's some pretty red dirt. God is so awesome to create something so beautiful. I'm telling you, this, this clay is beautiful, guys. I'm very pleased with the load. Wasn't too expensive. Well, dirt is free, so any cost is expensive. But he beat out all the other guys in the area, and I was grateful to get the dirt. So I'm thankful. Haul it all. Haul it all. Y'all check him out. I put his number on there. Great guy. Let me see, he gave me a card. Let me pull out his card real quick. Let me pull out his card. VP Solutions, Van Purvis, Haul It All, 803-983-2371. Y'all check him out. He's in Sumter. He's local. Good guy, man. I appreciate the business. I gave him a great Google review. That's what we do. We give good reviews to people who take care of us, man. So y'all stay tuned. TP Nation. What's going on, y'all? Day. The Lord has blessed us to be alive and well. Real quick, before we get into today's video, please like, please comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hey, new project we're starting on. Well, not a new project, y'all already know. Yeah, y'all know that we were getting ready to do our deck, a new part of our area here. Y'all can see now we're getting ready to do a nice 20 by 20 cement pad for our gazebo. Out of that project this morning, the guys are here. So, what I'm gonna do is, y'all can see this will be the square of the project here. And then, what I'm doing now is putting in my drain for my sink. Okay, put in the drain for the sink here. We're gonna have a top right here. And the grill is going to be on this corner right here. We're going to have a grill on this corner with our sink over here. So y'all see. so it can cure by the time the gazebo gets here. And then we're all ready. <clears throat> Y'all can see this. That's some of the old cement that I had. Put it in here as a foundation to get rid of that old cement. Alright. 
So, y'all see what this is called your toe footing right here. This is the toe footing where all that would be nothing but cement, and that just kind of makes the edges a little bit stronger. <clears throat> all toe footing here, we all nothing but cement down on that corner part. But it'll be four inches thick on the top, and the corners will be a little bit thicker. Y'all can see that. I gotta get over here and do my drainage area because those that's gonna be a drain pipe. As you can see, we got drain pipes coming out. That's coming out from the back of the house right there for the washing machine. This will be the drain coming out from my grill. I will have a um, grill with a sink base in the back as well. I'll have the, the back on that to come out. That right there will stick up through the cement for the drain. I need to do that water pipe too, Rick. I need to get, um, I need to put an elbow on that half inch over there and stick it up too. Do the same thing just like that. So we need to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a cold water line. I'm not going to do a hot water line. If I do a cold water, I can just get a tankless water tank and put outside. But you know what? I probably will just run a hot water line because I mean, just got to go into the house right there. Because the, the tank is right there. So I could run a hot water line. Hold on a minute. Say, hold on a minute, brother. I'm going to put that, um, the water line. Yeah, so let's get the water line, Rick. That needs to be the same way, just like that as well. Get an elbow and put an elbow on it, and then bring that up too. So we'll have water here. Because my plan is, TP Nation, is to have my grill, have the grill on this corner right here. I'm gonna do an L shape, probably from here down to there and an L shape over here with the grill or I might just put the grill and the sink base on the same side. Um, it just depends on, you know, my grill. I'm using that brand new pit boss that I got up front. Like, let me show y'all. Um, I'm gonna have the same thing that's up here. Gonna be down here as well. So as y'all see this right here set up, I'm gonna have the same setup down there, but I'm gonna be using this brand new pit boss right here. So this pit boss will go down there and then I'll have the same thing built down there like this. Um, so I probably need to measure this out too, but I may not have as big of a sink. I may not have as big of a sink. I don't need that big of a sink down there as long as I got it up here, but I'm gonna put this pit boss down there and something similar like, like this. And then what I'll do is have an L shape. I'm gonna do an L shape yeah, an L shape. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. An L shape. Mm hmm. But that's kind of huge up here. So, um, I won't do the same thing down there. That's what I'm doing. So, y'all can see. Yep, down there, we're doing the same thing. So y'all get this done. No, brother, I know, my, I know how to, I know what to do already. Yeah. Alright, y'all. So, getting the plumbing line set up here. You quite natural. I gotta cut that, but that's gonna be the drain for the sink base. That's gonna be the drain. That three quarter, ain't it? Yeah, that three quarter. Should have, it gotta have some half inch around here somewhere. I can look at it from here and tell that's three quarter. That is not half. Look at that pipe and look at this. No, he ain't. He ain't got his eyeglasses on. 
Yes, sir. Them numbers done changed, baby. All right, y'all see what we got going on. So we're getting our plumbing in here. So y'all can see the vision already. Nice sink right here. We're gonna come down just like I showed you up top and then we'll turn left, put the grill in this corner right here. Cause what I want the grill to be able to do is to um, all the smoke and stuff will come out this way versus the smoke coming back up top. So we're getting ready to form this now. We're not gonna pull this for about three to four days cause we want to let this settle in here good. Um, put water on this clay. This is red clay, so it'll get good and hard. So what we'll do is get this in here. Get this in here real nice. Y'all said it's a standby. Right now we're wetting the comp, wetting it, this clay down. Got it formed up good. Y'all can see we got it, well, they got it formed up good. So this is going to be our new cement pad here. This is going to be our cement pad for our gazebo. Wetting it down because this is clay, it's compaction clay. And the wetter it gets, the harder it'll get. We don't want any breakage in our concrete. So. Where we at? Water lines in. Got the water lines in. This is a 20 by 20 uh, square pad. 20 by 20 square pad. wet it down so that it's, it'll compact in here and get hard. Chickadees! Hey girls! Hi chickadees! Hi chickadees! Hi chickadees! Hi chickadees! No, y'all can't get out. Nope. Well, this is where we are, guys. Man cave has been painted, painted. It's beautiful. We're gonna pour more cement over there and do this right here. And then wait for our gazebo to come in and be installed. I got electricity already ran in the back. Um, we got everything going on, guys. So y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Taylor Spry Homestead. Here in East Over, South Carolina. Pouring a cement pad. All right, y'all.